So 2,000 feet further than the Evo 2. 2,000 feet further. This is Dad Random, and I am going to do the big flight today. Now, I'm going to do this a little differently. Um, I've, you know, I've got a record definitely I want to set. I want to get to that point where, you know, this is better than anything I've flown. And then what I want to do after that is I want to um, do a little bit of free flight where I can explore this area over here. There is a actually something that we can use the explore mode for so we're going to do that we're going to use explore mode and uh at the end of our flight so you know very typical flight if, if you're flying you know a quad you're going to go out you're going to go look for something you're going to find it and then uh, you're going to uh, record it so um way out in there there are some anasazi petroglyphs so what i want to do is I want to get there. I want to make it to the petroglyphs and once I get there um, I want to see if I can get them in view and put them in a uh, in focus you know so you can you know so they're usable so it's it's really it's not it's not helpful if we are looking for stuff we're finding it we can't take good photographs of it so we're gonna get out there gonna break my record and then we're gonna go find the petroglyphs and that should easily be within the battery. So, all right, here we go. Here we go, dead random. Let's go ahead. We've got this ready to go. I have about 90 some percent battery. Um, we'll see if I remember to record my screen. That would be probably nice. Let's, let's try that. Let's see if we can do a screen record here. There it is right there. See if we'll remember. I haven't been very lucky with screen recordings lately. Let's go ahead and launch. This flight shouldn't take more than maybe 10 minutes. All right, let's just go ahead and let's, we sh looks like we're ready to go. Um, we are, let's, I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna put this in bypass mode. Perfect, here we go. We are, uh, we are flying. All right, here we go. Dead random. So, double check, see, make sure we've got everything in order today. Um, our altitude is going to be set. And we want to make sure that this flight is somewhat pleasing <laughs> to the uh, to the eye. <laughs> All right. All righty. And I believe we're recording our screen. And the previous, my previous um, quad. Of quality easily got 18,000 feet and we are in normal mode we are going to keep the quad low to the ground 
to get a little bit of altitude. Uh, one thing about this one is when you hit the sticks, um, it does jump up. It tends to jump up. We're going to keep a nice straight, nice straight flight pattern path. There we go. We're going over. All right. All right. We got to look over the cliff as we go over. There it is down below. There's fall down there. And we're just going to head right straight for that peak. And then we're going to stay just to the right of it. You can see that little bluff right there. As we uh, now the wind is negligible. Uh, weather perfect. Um, not even 60 degrees. You could say it even. It might even be cool. And auto focus. We are in auto exposure mode and like I said we're gonna get out there what I want to do is I want to get the record or get to my goal it's really what it is the goal now you've got you're gonna see goals further than mine and that's okay because one of the things I want to establish is the fact that I don't need to do what everybody else is doing Maximum flight, uh, maximum altitude, flight altitude, altitude reached. Okay, and that is telling us that, hey, we've got that max altitude. I'm going to probably have to change that because our bypass is going to help us around that right there, isn't it? Okay. And here, I'm going to have to switch that out because we're going to, once we get out here, we're going to have to go a little bit higher. So one of the nice things about this, let's go to control. Let's go to control. We got, man... Let's go to safety, and let's go up to, eh, let's go to there, okay. All right, that's great, agree. All right, okay, we have to have that ability because we're gonna get out there where we're gonna have to increase our altitude a little bit. And we've got a nice reciprocal course. We got it in bypass mode. Uh, probably the most important thing we're gonna learn or one of the very important things we're going to learn from this flight is is, we're, is bypass mode is going to help us if we get in really get in trouble. So, and our sun, man, our sun is really it's good today. I I have yet to I have yet to get myself into oh there we go yeah a little bit of breakup going on there. It's probably because I'm moving around so much. Weak signal. Let's get some altitude. And usually the weak signal comes from lack of altitude. There we go. And we're gonna we're gonna want to drift too much, so we're gonna drift out into where the signal is strongest. This should be a really fast flight because <laughs> um, of obvious reasons. Uh, we've already seen uh, some pretty amazing footage um, from this <laughs> from this quad, so. All right, looks like, yeah, we're good. We've got a really good signal now, a good strong signal. I had to have to bring it a little bit over, just a hair sometimes. There's our trail down there. Craig said he'd be out again. Craig is always out on Saturdays. He did say, hey, well, what time do you want to go out? And I said, How's about, you know, how's about 11 o'clock? Is that a good time for you? And he said, sure, no problem. And that's how me and Craig kind of work. There, I can, I can see exactly where we're heading and I gotta keep hugging the terrain. And like I said, with bypass mode, it gives us that, that, that ability to, um, you know, to have that, that safety uh, factor when you're this low uh, in the terrain. And man, I can hear the, the guns are out there just blasting away. I hope nobody takes advantage of their mine as target practice today. Um, let's go ahead and I'm go ahead and slow her down because we are reaching the point of what I would consider to be success. The one thing I don't like about flying on Saturdays sometimes is we've got 
you know, it's just making sure other aircraft are, are safely uh, not close to us and we're in really good shape. We got blue skies, nothing but amazing footage in front of us. And then the flight back should be absolutely just spectacular. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. 74% battery, wow. And I'm just punching it out right now. We're not going very fast. And we're out there right where I want to be. We are right there, guys. We are right there. We are almost to that point where I can declare success. And this can be the king of all of my drones. And we're almost there. There's that motorcycle trail we're coming up there. Guys, there it is right there. We have officially crowned a new king. We have officially crowned a new king of quads. The uh, Mavic 3 is now officially the new king. Now remember, we're hugging the terrain. We've got to keep that terrain hugging down there. And we got the motorcycle trail coming up. And we are now sitting with the, we're flying the new king. This is pretty exciting. I'm very, 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 very excited about that. And uh, hopefully we can get our goal of, of now finding and photographing some petroglyphs. And I am actually going to cheat a little bit as we're moving towards another benchmark. I want to, there we go, we are there. I can't believe that. We are just, we have just made just amazing progress. And here it is, guys. Just the countdown. The countdown. The countdown. Look at that. We are going uphill still. Oh, man, we are still going uphill. Look at that. We got some actual footage that's, uh, oh. Okay, I want to get some more altitude here. See if we can get back into our... There it is right there, 20,000 feet. 20,000. That is my goal. There it is. And then I want to look back and and uh, enjoy the accomplishment. It is now time to bring her on home. Now, remember, coming home, I have to watch a couple of different things. One is... so. 2,000 feet further than the Evo 2. 2,000 feet further. Now, so what I want to do on this on this return flight is I want to aim at a specific location. Now, I, I've got I've got to worry about uh, signal shadow, and right now I'm getting that signal shadow, so I might have to uh, divert. There we go. Now we're now we're out of that signal shadow. Uh, looks like our speed hasn't been hasn't been uh, affected at all, and uh, we're going the same speed. So that means that our air is the same there as it is here. <laughs> and we're just gonna we're gonna take her back, almost straight, almost. I want to hit the peak of the cliff as we return and be able to continue decreasing my altitude safely so we can keep and like I said you we uh, are using the trails we're using our we're using our visual signs to determine that I'm following our reciprocal course right there. There it is, right there. Pretty dang close. We're veering just a little bit off to the left. Let's go ahead and continue that. Now I'm going to go to the small map, and that's very nice. A lot of you guys don't utilize the smaller map, and that smaller map gives you a bigger picture of the area that you're in, so it gives you a different perspective. Here, we got to keep going down here. Keep going back and down. There we go. And we're gonna get back out. It's gonna slowly come out. Let's put the. There's our attitude. 
I don't need to know the attitude. I just need to know direction. And we're going perfect speed. Uh, we are at 61%. So we are we are in great uh, we're in great shape as far as battery is concerned. And we want to get down to our signal adjustment. Let's get out there. Weak signal. Let's get our to get back into our signal get out of that shadow there let's see I think we're good right there and it's time for me to switch my glasses around get my spectacles there we go Just making sure we're staying within the out of the signal shadow as we return, and we have we have plenty of battery now. Yeah, think you got to think right now that we're at fifty percent of a bat of a battery. That there we go. Now we're full. Now we're full. Now we're full on. Let's get down to our. Our safe altitude right there. Okay, we I remember we hugged the terrain the whole entire way. All right, now what I want to do now is divert. Okay, now this is where I've got it's tricky because I've got to get here. I got to go back. Sorry, I got to go back. I got to get to the cliff first. There we go. Keep our signal right. Get our altitude in tune. And see, and now I've got to get in this what they call a sweet spot over there. That's the space between where I get good signal and where I can get good photography to make this a practical flight. And I've got to get to the, I've got to get to that. There we go. Now I'm now I'm now I can start turning in because I've I've now out of the shadow. Because I want to get to this edge right over here. So, and I want to be able to identify some features. And I need to be able to see the trail. So I've got to go to the trail over here, and that's where I'm headed. And we still got full, sh full, um, full signal, so we're good there. And. I'm starting to see trail now. And this is where I want to do a little bit of get it into. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and we want to get some photographs here. Now we're in explorer mode. It's right there. And I'm going to try to see if I can get some petroglyphs. Now I'm going to back out here. I've got to turn it a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot. And I'm gonna do a little bit of skirting the cliff. And see if I can get to that place where I can identify petroglyphs. Get up closer to the rocks. Like, don't get closer to the rocks. That's not smart. In this case, it is. Okay, so now I'm scanning. Now I want to scan that very top level of the rocks. Hopefully I didn't go too far. We are 47%. We're going to probably have to come back. There's the 
trail. And there's uh, the trail head. So we got to go further. I want to bring it, I'm keeping it down. I'm keeping it. I'm kind of crabbing across. And I want to get forward. Really good signal still. And right here, this has got to be where I should be able to get some visuals. This is that lower trailhead. We got to get it down, and then there it is right there. That's the area where I'm looking to get to. But I might see a signal shadow here, and that is what I've got to worry about is getting too low as I approach this area. Oh, now I'm in the shadow of that signal. So let me just go out a little bit and see if I can pick it back up. Get my, get my camera down. Now we gotta do a little bit of a little bit of funky searching here. Let's see if I can get get some gimbal gimbalage. There we go, right there. That's stuff there. That's definitely that's definitely something. It's hard to determine though. And this is where you can justify a different a different quad. Um, not a different quad, but a different ta like a tablet. So I'm using the phone doing a little search here. I'm see that trail along there. I'm still I've still got I still got visual of the I just I can't see I'm trying to gain some trying if I can get some I'm trying to see if I can get some images here. But it's 40%. We got plenty of time. 20 plenty of time for this let's get it down there and I thought I was at about the right spot but I might not be here let's 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 come out a little bit uh, um, I've been I, I want I just gotta sneak over a little bit further see if we can pick it up this area here has got to be. This is this is where I've got to be able to pick that up. Get it in there. Oh, we got. I've got the sun helping me. Now I'm just going to get closer. Remember, I'm trying to avoid signal shadow. And now I'm going to do some. Now I'm going to. Now it's time to do a little bit of. A little bit of let's go into Cinna so we can slow our movements down. What I'm looking for is evidence of petroglyphs. Evidence of petroglyphs here. And I only got I've got a few more minutes. Remember, you know the you know whether we're successful or not. Ooh, is that it right there? Is that what I'm looking for here? Let's see, let's get let's get in a little bit further. There it is. I think that's it right there. There's one rock right there. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. So we're looking for this this these smooth sides of the stones. And I am big time zoomed in. Alright. So let's go back. Let's start heading back. But uh, tell me what you see. If you see something, if you, it's really hard for me right now because I'm really focused on flying smooth. And like I said, whether I'm successful not or not today, let me go back out again. Let's go back over here. I probably missed the entire area. It's been a while since I've been over here. 
and we are turning back um, and we're gonna fly over here that looks way better more promising right there let's go into that see if we can find some stuff along that edge Uh, I don't see anything. Low battery. All right, time to go home. But uh, we did our search. We did our search. We're trying to find things. Whether we're successful or not, remember, it's, you know, it's up to, there's, that's actually probably where I should have been the whole time. Um, all right, got to come home. All right. That's probably where I needed to be right there. All right, let's go home. Uh, there it is. That's actually the area right there. Oh, boy. But we have to... Should we just look a little bit longer? Just a, just a little bit. See if we can... See if we can catch some images. See if we can catch some images. All right, all right, guys, it's time. We've pushed this bird pretty far. And here we go, we're heading back. Let's go, let's get into normal mode. Let's get out of, uh, let's get, uh, let's go back into, yeah, let's go, let's go home. Let's bring her back out. We have to come home. Oh well, were we successful? I don't know. We'll have to scan through it. Just fly cautiously. Fly cautiously. Man air, okay, good. That's good. Let's just be careful. We got some man aircraft close by. And we are going to come, we're just going to stay low. We'll stay well below uh, that altitude there. Fly cautiously. Fly cautiously. We're flying low and cautious. That pl the plane is at about a gazillion thousand feet. Because there isn't, there isn't a plane anywhere near. There's the petroglyphs. There's the map right there. It just said it. That was the trail. Tuh. We're getting down there. We'll stay down. Okay, we're going to get down low. I can hear an aircraft right there. I can see it. And we're going to stay down. Give it the right away. Perfect. Perfect. We are way below that aircraft. Excellent. And I gave him the right of way. He's passed us. Fly cautiously. I love that. That is such an excellent, uh, such an excellent um, feature. So, such a great safety feature. So, we got 22%. We got tons of battery power to get back. So, all right. I'm still pulling back on the stick. And the craft is, my, my uh, craft is saying, you're fine, everything's great. And saying, yeah, I've come home and I'm coming home. Very much, very perfect, very much amazing. Let's go back into uh, reality mode here. We're uh, burning an entire battery, guys. Think about that. What I think about how long this flight um, has been that is just uh, all right. The drone wants to keep me out of trouble. Very nice, and we're almost home. All right, so here we go. We're coming from uh, coming from the west. Expect to fly over here. As we burn up the terrain with this 
very capable drone. Full stick forward. And we're at 15% low battery. All right. We expected that. And there's me. There I am right there. Like I say, here we come from the west. And you can just hear the drone just pumping away. All right, there she is. There it is. There's your to uh, end of the battery flight. <laughs> Much different than uh, the other guy's flight, but uh, very, very cool. All the features of this drone basically, um, I, I would say, are were, uh, <laughs> were demonstrated there. We've got safe flight demonstration. We've got um, we've got uh, zoom capability, um, everything. So, uh, what an amazing, what an amazing craft. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, so, there it is. You know, what do you think? Um, it is what it is, guys. Okay, let me go ahead and turn off my, uh, get that recording off. Uh, looks like we got a recording too. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, so for Dad Random, uh, in the Mavic 3, there we go. There's our scenic flight for today. Uh, what do you think? Uh, you know, of course, uh, you know, was it exciting? What, did we find anything? Check out uh, very, you know, check that, uh, check that video. Look very close at some of those rocks. Um, see if you can blow it up a little bit. See if you can find anything. Um, I think I went a little bit past the, uh, the place that I wanted to get to. I think I was a little bit further over um, and it, you know, I, I, when I came back, I started to see the rock field where, where most of those, uh, those uh, features were at. All right, Dad Random, later. Have a great one. Mavic 3, yes, it is the best drone. It is, it is by far the most capable uh, flyer. Um, no comment, okay? With this, uh, I, I refuse to get involved in the uh, negative comment group, guys. So there it is. Dad Random, Mavic 3. And yes, I did have to modify, I did have to modify my controller, so, for my case. And this is, I told you, I've done this before. Um, so, all right, later. Bye.